Welcome to Audubon at Home. My name is Iana, and today we are reading Where Should Turtle Be? by Susan Ring and illustrated by Lori Allen Clean. And it's signed by Susan Ring. Where Should Turtle Be? Late one night, when you couldn't hear a sound, there came a cracking and a popping, something moving on the ground. Inch by inch, a turtle slowly broke away from its nest on the beach and headed for the bay. There's the turtle. Everyone else is going down towards the ocean. This one's headed towards the bay. Guided by the lights, he knew they were the key to finding his new home, wherever that should be. But the lights weren't stars, and the lights weren't the moon. They were houses and cars, and he turned too soon. When Turtle stopped to rest, by an old and crooked tree, he said, I think I'm lost. This isn't where I ought to be. Little Turtle cried, and with his tiny voice he said, I'm not where I should be. I am in the woods instead. A bear came out when he heard the turtle's plea. He said, a box turtle. That's what you could be. You wouldn't have to swim. You could feast on fruit. You could crawl around the forest and sleep a lot to boot. It's a box turtle. Turtle tried for a while, but he couldn't stick to it. He was not a box turtle. He just couldn't do it. No, thank you, said the turtle. It's just not me. I really don't think that's what I'm supposed to be. And so he walked on. When Turtle stopped to rest by a cattail in the sun, he said, where am I now? Can you help me, anyone? Little Turtle cried, and with his tiny voice he said, I'm not where I should be. I am by this pond instead. There's the pond. A frog jumped down when he heard the turtle's plea. He said, a painted turtle. That's what you could be. That's a painted turtle. You could sun on logs. You could munch on bugs. You could stroll around the pond and slurp down slugs. Turtle tried it for a while, but he couldn't stick to it. He was not a painted turtle. He just couldn't do it. No, thank you, said the turtle. It's just not me. I really don't think that's what I'm supposed to be. And he walked on. Turtle was unhappy, trudging through the salty marsh. The sun was hot, the mud was deep, the habitat was harsh. He pulled and yanked and flailed around in the icky, sticky, muddy ground. Turtle tried without much luck, but sat there stuck in gobs of muck. Oh no, he's stuck. A beetle flew down. When he heard the turtle's plea, he said, a Diamondback Terrapin, that's what you could be. You could crawl on the mud, you could crunch salty snails, you could also eat clams, and... Wait! The turtle shouted. I won't try it for a day. I am not a Terrapin. I must get on my way. That's the Terrapin. Then the turtle whispered, you know, it's just not me. I really don't think that's what I'm supposed to be. Then Beetle tickled Turtle's shell. 
The turtle laughed so hard that pop, he flew out from the mud about a mile and a yard. Little turtle cried and with his tiny voice he said, I was looking for my home and ouch, my head is sore instead. Oh no. A crab scurried down when he heard the turtle's plea. He pointed and he said, out there, that's where you ought to be. Out there, little turtle, it's well within your reach. Then turtle looked around and saw he had landed on the beach. Inch by inch he headed out that way, from the soft and sandy beach to the salty silvery bay. Then Turtle slid in and he shouted, this is me, cause I'm supposed to be a turtle in the sea. The end. Thank you for joining us for Audubon at Home.